Jeez. So as you guys have seen, a couple videos ago, we went on vacation to Florida. It was a good time. I left Ben here, working on stuff, holding down the fort. And we uh, found the nest, big nest. Yeah. And uh, he encountered some mouse turds. There was a couple, yeah. I found my own in Florida. Michelle's family is from Florida, and they have a ranch down there. And there's an old Dodge Dakota on the ranch. A vacation for a lot of you is like sitting on the beach, relaxing. For me, sitting uh, around an old piece of junk truck trying to get it to run, that's a pretty good time for me, so. It's always best. Work on stuff out when you're on vacation. Oh yeah, it was a good time with no tools. No tools? And a rented minivan. But you had a crescent wrench. We went to Harbor Freight. Oh? Oh yeah. Even better. You'll see how that turns out. We're currently in Florida on vacation. What are we doing on vacation, guys? We got old trucks running. Yeah. We go find old junk trucks and try to make them run. So Grandpa left this truck. Grandpa Dellis, which is Michelle's dad, left this old Dodge Dakota parked by the barn down here for, they said, at least seven years it hasn't ran. So we're going to go over and investigate it, see if it's got wiring left in it. If it does, we may uh, fire it up and go take it for a rip on the property. So stay tuned. She's mint. Yeah. Looks like something's been living in here. It's pretty clean though. We got, it's, it's nasty. There's some more evidence of, there's a few turds in here. Look at this. Look at the top. So, oh yeah, it just, everything rusts here. We're gonna look for the key. Grammy said the key is in here somewhere. If it hasn't rusted away, we're gonna find it. And maybe we should pop the hood and see if there's wiring left. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yo, Ron. You think the battery's good? No. We're, it's got a Jags k and filter on it. I mean, how can this not work? Yeah, show sure, Ron. We can find the key. We can find the key. Any luck? There's a key in the dash. Let's see it. Glove box. The same thing. Yeah, but it's not the key. It's not, not the key, key to the truck, but I'll bet this key fits the shed right here. Oh, we're in. Nothing. Nothing's living. Oh, yep, right there. Dodge Dakota. It's a '95 Dodge Dakota X Cab Blue and Silver. We've got some tractor hydraulic oil. Tackle box with nothing. Tackle box with nothing in it. We've got fishing poles that have been gnawed on by some mice. What would your dad have in one of these boxes? Nuts and bolts, of course. That's what it I It smells would like an old Florida tack shed in here. We need some air, some gas, some starting fluid, just the normal stuff. I mean, I got a crescent wrench that I brought with me. <laughs> we'll figure this out. We'll find some stuff and see if we can make this run. Mom? So we can go rip around out there. There's endless places to explore. We went, looked at the Dakota. Figured out kind of what we need. We need a battery, some start fluid. Hopefully the fuel pump's okay. Probably a five gallon jug of gas and uh, some air. And I think that thing's gonna run. But these kids think they wanna go get an ice cream. We're headed to a drive through convenience store. Pretty cool. We're gonna drive through there, tell them what we want and uh, get us our stuff. Maybe you guys have this stuff where you're from, but Utah, no drive-through convenience store. Like a literal drive-through, not a drive up to. We're driving through the middle of it, so <laughs> pretty cool. The country cooler. We need some ice cream. ice cream. I want a vanilla cone. Vanilla cone. Yep. Vanilla cones. There you go. 
And we're off. It was a success. So we've lost some, some people in the van. Everyone else wanted to stay and swim. Not us, we're rednecking it. We're, we're currently on our way to Harbor Freight. We gotta go get an air pump, some basic hand tools, and then we're gonna hit an AutoZone or an O'Reilly or some auto parts store and get us a battery and some starting fluid, maybe a gas jug, and we are headed there to fire truck up. So we'll see how it works out. And there. All right, we just got here to Harbor Freight. We're gonna go in, find our stuff, and we'll see if we can make a truck run. Alright, we found them. Got our air pump here, we'll get that, and we should be in business. Alright, I think we've got all the stuff we need from Harbor Freight. We're gonna roll, get this, we'll roll or get some gas and a battery, and some start fluid. We'll see. Alright, another successful trip to Harbor Freight, so. We'll go to the auto parts store and then to ripping in the woods, I hope. All right, we found a Napa. That's good enough. We're gonna go in and grab us a battery starting fluid and go fire this thing. We got ourselves a battery starting fluid. We are ready to do this. Okay. All right, we got everything rounded up. We're on our way back to the old Dakota. We'll see if it'll fire. We're gonna try to make it start first. If it'll start, then we'll worry about pumping the tires up, putting some fuel in it. If we can't make our fire off start fluid, then we're not going to mess with it too much. Because we're on vacation after all. But, we do this stuff when we're on vacation. So, it'll be fun. If we can make it run, we'll take you for a tour of the place and show you some backwoods Florida stuff. We got the battery and stuff. Okay, I'm yeah. gonna try to exterminate we need to buy stuff cane. out of here, like all this we'll mouse poop. Here, so we'll I, uh, we'll just... This, get your foot. Get enough. There's still water in it. Shouldn't be locked up tight. All right, Jace is getting the uh, battery changed here. Talk to my brother-in-law. We may have some bad news. He says the fuel line is pretty rotten on this thing, and it thinks it leaks fuel. So we're gonna we're gonna see. I have hope still. She's <laughs> gonna run. He dashed my hopes a little bit. Yep. Bring me the other one. What's your what's your bet, Flan? What's your gut telling you? Mm, it'll run. Your gut's telling you it's gonna run. Yeah. Jace, do you believe his gut? I don't know, he eats a lot, so I think. So his gut's pretty spot on? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, everything is rusted on this Oh, thing. it's Florida, dude, everything rusts. Think we got brakes? No. Dude, who cares, there's trees. Oh, there's some juice going on in there. Let me see what we've got in here. Buzzer works. Can you hear the fuel pump running? Listen. I cannot. Got I guess starting fluid. Give us a squirt. Okay. She ain't getting no fuel, boys. I was afraid of that. All right, turn the key on and I'll check the fuel pressure. All right, this little thing right there, on? On. That is no fuel pressure. Okay, that's not good. Oh, the frame's like rotten in half up there. That's never good. I think the fuel pump is dead. Fuel pump's dead. Well, it 
It looks like a ratchet strap's holding the tank in. I look at there's baling wire too holding it on. Or oh yeah, holding this, the bed on. This is a clean one owner. She's not good, boys. We've got to ask ourselves. We're on vacation. Is this worth it? Yes. I don't think it is. Go. This one's the fuel pump is just dead. Either something's chewed the the fuel pump off. Well, I can't even hear it running. I can't either. <laughs> but there is no uh, there's no fuel pressure. I don't think there's any sort of switch in here anywhere. That... No noise. Can you feel it? Yeah, the pump's locked up. It's like, it's trying to turn, but it ain't turning. Oh. Crank it. Decisions. I think we may be out of luck, fellas. We may not be mobbing this thing in the woods after all. <laughs> Sucks. I really wanted to go get a big mud hole in it. It's breaking half. I was afraid that the, the fuel pump would be our demise here today, but I had hopes. I thought maybe fuel worked different in Florida, <laughs> but it doesn't. It ruins everything just the same. This is what everyone's always telling me about. Like, hey, how come you don't paint your stuff? It's gonna rust away. I don't deal with this in Utah. I mean, these cans are seven years old in the back of this truck. Maybe not even seven years. <laughs> we struck out on the Dodge Dakota today, but we're still on vacation, so it's all good. We'll go back, see if Michelle and Gracie are ready to head for the beach. That is an ugly hat, my friend. No, it's not. <laughs> All right, let's go find your mom again. All right, so we put in a good two hours on the Dodge Dakota. We made it run, but we figured out that the frame had rotted in half, which all of you guys talk about like rust all over the place. I didn't realize that, but, but it's bad. literally it's set for seven years and the frame rusted in half on this wow. truck. And the fuel pump was dead, so we could spray a little starting fluid down the throat and it did fire but it wasn't worth our time so we went to plan b which i knew a guy that's down there that had a swamp buggy that hadn't ran in a couple of years and we decided we'd go over and talk to him see if he'd let us tinker on it so that we could take a rip around the place on the swamp buggy so why not here's that all right so we got here we found the swamp buggy, so we're gonna go through, do a little rundown on it. We'll check some oils and all that kind of stuff, see if we can get it to crank and fire, and then we'll get it running. Right there. It's got black stuff in it, which is technically a bonus. Transmission. It's got lots of that in it. It's over full, which is good, I think. Unless it's water on the bottom. I think basically we uh, try to fire it up and see what's that. Jay, you want to hop up on it? Hey, there's Bubby himself. So we got the belts off here and we're trying to figure out how to get them off. The problem is I'm sweating like crazy because it's humid here. So we've got problems going on. I don't know what they are. Mostly that the belts don't fit. It's not even close to long enough for the alternator. Oh, I think I'm on to some land. Okay, just bump it. Is it dead? Dead, dead? I was afraid of that. Okay, I'll have to get the battery in it. So the battery we bought the other day is coming back into play. We need a battery for the swamp buggy. We know where one's at. These two are gonna run over and grab it real quick and come back and I'll get this other one out We'll be ready for them when they get here, so don't get lost or crash. And don't like, tell your mama to let you drive the car. Okay. Alright, jump the fence oh, now. Oh jeez, there's a hole. <laughs> I jumped the fence.
Did you get the battery? Yes. I got the battery. <laughs> Alright, we're back now. Grab the battery. 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 We got the battery. Did you do your job? I'm currently doing it right now. I didn't know you guys were going to be so speedy. Yeah, we had Landon driving. Yeah, professional NASCAR driver. Professional NASCAR driver. Speaking of that, you guys excited for tonight? Yes, sir. What are we doing tonight? On the dirt track race. Oh, yeah, dirt track racing tonight. On off, mud down. 716. That's probably why that doesn't work. New battery. Positive? Yep, that's positive. I'll climb up there and see if it starts. Uh, the gauges are a little hammered. We got nothing. Doesn't seem like we've got any power. I don't know, man. We're uh, it does have brakes. That's a bonus. Those are some of the tiniest starter wires I've ever seen. We got some stuff to do. We'll get back to you. All right, we're investigating some wires here. That right there, that's probably the problem. I think that goes in. That's, yeah, that's my main power source. We're getting power to that. We just ain't getting power to anything else. We'll figure this out. Those two big ones come up through here. Chad didn't wire this, I can tell you that. <laughs> no power in that. For some reason, we got no power. That fell right in my face hole. We gotta start hunting somewhere else. It's not there. We figured it out. This wire is pulled out of there. So we'll loosen these, put it in, and it should fire up. Crank her a couple times, let's see if it breaks. <laughs> All right, pumping a bunch. Okay, crank it a little. Pumping a bunch. It's a holly. It's a holly face. Okay, crank it. That's a little rust. I think it's that alternator belt. All right. It does not like stand. We need a 9 16 and that little wrench thing again, man. Fire this thing up. I think we're good, dude. Put it in reverse, let's see if it moves. It moved. We've got some problems with the belt department we're gonna deal with. Yeah, every time you rev that up, it uh, spits belts. I'm missing the shop right now with some tools. I had some tools I just twisted around, but we ain't got them. I like Florida and all, but it's hot and sweaty. Oh, it's it. All right, so update, swamp buggy fixed. The belts are still kicking off, but it's because the one belt is broke on the one side and it's flopping sideways. So Bobby is gonna go grab us some new belts and we're gonna head for the dirt track races. Go have a good time tonight, watch some fireworks. And then tomorrow, we're gonna come out here, jump on that thing, take it for a rip around the property and go do a little swamp buggy in Florida, which will be a good time. No. Well, we're on our way to the, the dirt track races and it decided to rain. It's a serious rainstorm. Not quite like a Utah rainstorm. If it did this in Utah, we'd wash away. But here, 15 minutes from now, you won't even tell it rained, so. Well, uh, Starting route to Putnam Raceway. We'll head to Putnam Raceway, and quarters. we'll head there, and uh, hopefully by the time we get to the track, it's not raining. We'll see. Good stuff. So last night after the race, 
we forgot to tell you that we were done and we were headed home. But we're all in the car now. You can see the whole family's in here. Hard times coming to a close here. We're about to wrap this place up. Go home, start working on the tow truck, see what Ben got done while I'm in Florida. He's been killing it up there, I hope, just working on all kinds of stuff. So hopefully we're still gonna take the swamp buggy for a rip. We'll see if that hard work paid off. That was a lot of sweat, really. Not so much hard work, but lots of sweat. We got back to the swamp buggy. Bubby had got the belts. We threw them on really quick and loaded the whole family up, head out into the swamp. So now, let's go see how it runs. Fiona. Paul's backing this wow, sucker Fiona. up. Yeah. Let's see his good backing skills. Oh, Come on, old Betsy <laughs> tree. That's a little. <laughs> Got a little wet. We've seen a few big spiders. Michelle may have freaked out and screamed a lot. But it was worth it. She's still not running great, but she ran good enough. So good enough. next. Okay, so while Paul was gone having fun in Florida and playing with other things, we worked on Firebird, played with mouse crab. We had a good time and it was fun. Whose mouse crab was worse, guys? I don't know. Oh, I guarantee that Dakota was way worse. That stuff was, ours were like king sized. Yeah, they were big. I don't know. Well, there was a couple live ones in that car, so if it's kind of hard to tell. If I'd had to drive the Dakota very far, it would have been bad. <laughs> uh, but it was a good time and not the last time we're going to deal with that. Now, when you like old junk, that's, that's just something that get. goes along with it. Florida was a good time. I had fun working on the junk down there. The Dakota didn't work out. We didn't get to go beat it around out there, but there's always next time. Maybe next time, even Ben will get to come along. Maybe. Play with an alligator. Yeah. Snakes. Shark. Banana spiders. All kinds of stuff that wants to bite you in the swamp. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.